Hello everybody, thanks for watching the video. So in this one, um, going along with the more advanced stuff as you guys are building up, in this one I thought it would be a good idea to go over kind of the gears that you can get and all the different ones that you can get at higher levels. So I'm going to go through there, talk about them, and uh, tell you guys if they're worth it or not, or if you guys should just skip over them. Alright, so let's go over to the forge. Now, you can only unlock the forge after you get to level 7, but if you guys are planning on jumping servers to 24, do not go past level 6. If you go past level 6, you cannot jump servers. So, that being said, um, you guys should uh, go look at the other video if you do not know how to, to uh, jump servers, and if you wanted to come join us in uh, King, uh, server 24, uh, you guys are welcome to do that. And uh, that video explains it all if you guys want to do that. Anyways, let's get in here and look at some of the gear. Now you actually unlock gear at several levels. You unlock it at 7, 15, 20, I think it's 20. Let's see. 20 and 22, 3, 23. So you get four different unlock levels that you can get different types of gear. Right now I am at 15, so I've unlocked two uh, two sets of each. So when you first start and you get a forged level one, you're going to get this commoner set. Pretty basic. It really only up, um, increases your production and your hero. I mean, I'm still thinking game war stuff, guys. Uh, Captain XP. Uh, that's really all it does, and it's not really going to be a whole lot. It's only 1.9 percent if you got it to tier six. And uh, these other ones being the same, but for well, 1.9 to 7.4 for resource production. Which, again, if you guys watch the uh, skill tree video, production isn't really what I'm after. But because my uh, my farms and stuff are usually full by the time I check them. But if you guys aren't uh, getting full farms or whatever, that would be kind of helpful to uh, go offline in. So, yeah. If you guys need more resource production, that would help you out a little bit. I kind of skipped over this one. I didn't really see the uh, benefit of actually making it. So that's up to you guys if you want to uh, use your silver on making this, which is pretty cheap compared to level 15 gear, but it's up to you guys if you want it. It's not really going to help out a uh, whole lot. So, again, if you guys didn't watch the other video, I'm just going to go over how making the gear actually works. When you guys go in here and you click craft, um, it's not like Game of War if you guys have played that or if you are uh, new to the channel, but when you click craft and you speed it up or whatever, the tier that you get is entirely based on chance right now. Now combining is going to be added later on in the game where you combine these resources and it will combine all the way up to tier 6, which, which will take 4 of each of these materials, 4 equals 1 of the next tier. So 4 of these equals 1 tier 2 piece, and then so on and so forth. 4 of the uh, tier 2 ones equals tier 3, so on and so forth. Alright, now when you click craft, it's entirely based on chance, the uh, tier you're going to get. So you have a 2% chance to actually get tier 6. So you're going to have to try it multiple times unless you are really lucky if you are trying for tier 6. So, click craft, just speed it up. There you go. And we got tier 1. I am very unlucky. So anyways, just want to show you guys and make sure you know how that works. Alright. And of course, uh, each set has its own little bonus, so if you can get it tier 3 or higher on every piece, well, this set um, by itself, if you got it tier 3 or higher, you get 2% ship firepower increase and 2% pirate attack increase. So that's just for that set. Alright, so now we've got the Novice Governor Equipment set. I'm actually still using this one because I have mostly... Um, tier 4 and tier 6 pieces. Now this one is a little bit more expensive silver wise and you do still have to uh, try it multiple times if you are not very lucky and it is still based on chance. 
So this one decreases resource re um, decreases the resources needed for research and the construction cost. So, and it goes up to 6.5% if you get tier 6. And all of them do the, pretty much the same thing. Uh, this one decreases the time and these other ones decrease the resources on uh, research. And so it is down through here. So if you guys wanted to uh, invest into this a little bit with some of your silver, uh, which starting out you do um, end up with quite a bit of silver, but once you get to about 13, 14, 15, that's when you start uh, needing silver a little bit more and it's kind of scarce. So uh, if you guys are early on and want some uh, some of this stuff to make it a little bit cheaper as you grow, uh, that, that's open to you guys if you want to do that. Which materials you guys get that from killing monsters, you get that from events, you get that from quests, you, you get it from all kinds of stuff and they come in uh, little chests and you open that and you get all of them and uh, you should uh, get quite a bit of them if you guys do quite a bit of stuff. Alright, so starting with level 15 gear, which a lot of you guys uh, probably don't have this yet. Some of you might, but most of you probably don't um, just starting into the game. It takes quite a bit to get to level 15 um, just starting out. So, uh, let's see. This is your first um, attacking set. This is the first one that actually boosts your pirate attack and ship attack. So this goes up to 5.4% pirate attack. This goes up to 5.4% pirate attack as well. And I've got a tier 5 of this one. That, that was pretty lucky me. I got it first try. Tier 5. And this one, um, if you guys didn't notice, this one actually takes two different materials. So as the uh, as it increases, you're going to unlock more of these slots. So level 20 would probably be three pieces, maybe even four pieces. I'm not sure. It doesn't really uh, doesn't say that. And then of uh, 23 is probably all of them, uh, maybe at least five, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, let's go on down through here and uh, got a pirate hook. 5.4% uh, more pirate attack on that one. Uh, ship firepower here, 3.9% and 3.9% more ship firepower and then same thing again. And then for the set bonus of this one, at tier 3 on all pieces and up, you get uh, ship armor during siege, 7%. So if you guys are going to go around and attack people, you definitely want to uh, get this set. And then uh, ship durability during siege seven percent more, so they're going to be a little bit tougher. If you get tier five on all pieces, which would take quite a bit of silver if you guys are not insanely lucky to get tier five on every piece, it'd be a lot of silver. Trying to uh, well for me, it'd be a lot of silver trying to get tier five on all of them. I have terrible luck with this stuff. All right, so new governor's equipment set. This is a just an advanced model of uh, the novice governor one which I haven't even bothered building this one mainly because the amount of silver that it takes I haven't uh, messed with it any because the other one I have all tier uh, 4 and up pieces so mine is doing pretty well it's like 4% and up for each one but if you guys do get to 15 and you want to invest some silver for that 1% increase on each piece, that's entirely up to you guys. I just left it out because I thought it was kind of kind of pointless for to waste all that silver for like 1%. So that's up to you guys. All right. So all these are going to be pretty much the same uh, same stuff. It's just going to be a higher percentage than uh, the other governor set. Let's scroll through that real quick. So you guys can see. Now the big bonus that this one gives is the set details. At tier 3 and up, you get a resource production increase. You get a captain XP gain 8%, which that is pretty nice and uh, would probably be worth it. I mean, it's really up to you guys if you want to use all that silver. I don't really care for it all that much. I'm going to get a lot of XP from... Uh, killing monsters and stuff anyways I'm not really in a hurry to level my captain all the way 
and then you get uh, increases ship firepower during hunting. And then if you get tier 5 and up on each piece, you get a ship hunting voyage speed 8% and increased pirate attack during hunting 5% more. So I think that adds together and you'll get 10% and your ships will go a little bit faster. All right, so that is the major increase between this one and the other one. So if you guys think it's worth it, go for it. I'm probably just going to leave it out until I get to probably 20 if it unlocks the uh, like advanced governor set or something. I'm not sure when it unlocks any higher. So I guess we will see when we get there. Now, that's pretty much it for gear right now, guys. If it, um, Hopefully this helps you guys out some. Uh, it probably should. Some of you guys that haven't really messed with it any. But this stuff is just going to make your building and researching a little cheaper. And uh, if you guys are uh, level 15 and starting to, get, starting to get into the attacking part, uh, that will help you out some if you can build that. Now, um, before we go, if you guys have not got into the line room and you guys do want in that, I can uh, add you if you guys add me online. Wahoo1UF is the same as my uh, YouTube channel name. So if you guys add me, I will get you into that line room and uh, yeah. Um, also, if you guys wanted to come join me in uh, Server 24 and you guys uh, didn't know how, there is another video showing you guys how to actually jump and find the alliance, but the but the tags that you need to search for have changed. There is The first two alliances is actually filled up, so I made a third one, which you guys are going to have to join the third one if uh, you want to get in. Oh, my hero leveled. Woohoo! Oh yeah, <laughs> bunch of stuff from that. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, the tags have changed because it is, is a new alliance. Um, uh, capital T, capital O, and capital H. It's not a zero like the other two. It's T O H all caps. So, if you guys are going to jump to 24, just search for those tags. And if you guys want in, uh, you can get into uh, the alliance and come play with us. So, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this uh, helps you guys out a little bit. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next one, guys, and hopefully see some of you in the game.